Hey everyone, the name is Sergtor and today we're talking the ideal career for every INFJ personality type. So what can an INFJ do to have a flow at work? What can they do to be happy with what they do at work? The reason I make this video is because I have a special page, patreon.com slash ericdor, where people can make special requests for videos, they can ask for coaching, they can leave donations, you know, they can leave their support, anything they do. Uh, it, no matter how small, it helps and it's a great thanks and I really appreciate it. So I said, okay, a few months back we were only at 25 patrons, so I said to myself, okay, what do I want to do when we hit 50? What challenge can I set for myself? What is it I can do or offer or improve at? And what is it I can do that I haven't done before? And I thought career advice. I felt there's a great need for people. And I've gotten this question so many times to help find success in their career or in their personality type in careers and in work. You know, work is such a big part of our life that where we go 40 hours a week we spend there. So if we can't enjoy those hours and make those hours worthwhile, if we can't find success in our career and if we can't enjoy our career and what we do what do we do okay so i've been mapping out sectors that every career or every personality type will be successful in and i found here six career sectors that an infj will be especially good in and four careers that an infj should consider for the sake of growth and for the sake of a chance to learn so okay these sectors, they're all based on the cognitive functions, your temperament and your worldview. So your core values, your core temperament, how you like to work, your modus operandi, your uh, primary skills, your primary intelligences, what you're the best at. You know, Every career should reflect things that you enjoy and should give you an outlet for all the different sides that you have in yourself. So an INFJ has many sides in themselves. So there is different fields to consider and there's different things to consider within that specific field. The first field you want to think about as an INFJ, as an introverted intuitive type in general, that's academics. You know, academics is a pretty good starting point. It's a place to get an outlet for your more theoretical and philosophical mindset. There you can ex reflect on more abstract qualities of life and you can think about more complex problems that are not easily solved, that require research, thinking, caution, reflection, and the ability to entertain and reflect on abstract situations. So this is the kind of career you want to go into if you're looking to work with the bigger picture, big complex systems, complex mathematical models, abstract concepts. This kind of field entertains those with bright minds and an intellectual, strong intellectual side. So this kind of career is great for an INFJ, but it has one issue. What I found is, okay, in these careers it can often be hard to get an emotional outlet. So you can often end up feeling like these careers are dry or cold. So the question becomes, how do I contribute to society while I do this? So, yeah. Another career the INFJ may want to consider, that's the nurturing sector, sector. So in the nurturing sector, you're working with helping and caregiving and supporting other people. Perhaps you work as a coach, perhaps you work as a barista, perhaps you work in a restaurant. You serve food, you take care of people, you take people under your wings, you help uh, encourage people, you spread a positive atmosphere, you do anything you know to help people through problems and issues uh, you're the kind of person the doctor the teacher the helper the supportive role you know that backs people up and helps them through their problems so often uh, a natural solution to people who work in the academic sector is to find outlets to teaching and mentoring to help other people in your career even if you go deep into academics and theories to feel that you are spending some hours every week helping people or to feel that your research is uh, going to support people in society somehow or that what you do is going to help people so consider when you go into academia as an INFJ to consider humanist fields first or focus on social impact research and research into nonprofits, humanitarian initiatives, or how your particular field can help bring about some kind of social pro progress. 
How can I, my field in economics help the poor? What can I do as an economist to help the poor? What can I do to help people who are in the, on the loans? What can I do to help people with my research? That's a very important question as an INFJ. Another good sector to consider is the entrepreneurial sector. Yeah, where you can take time to take your intuition and really, really work through it. Build a vision, speculate, predict, see where you're going, plan something out, create a project, an intellectual project, work on an idea, or bring out or make or create some kind of innovation and then work with that innovation. The entrepreneurial sector is great for INFJs. And if you go into the entrepreneurial sector, the best field I can ask for you to go into is communication, entrepreneurial communication. Work as a person helping businesses develop, work as a consultant, work as a coach or a mentor. Try to um, offer some kind of solution with your projects and your ideas. Find a way to turn a social problem into a profit and into a business idea. And use the entrepreneurial sector to maintain that healthy INFJ drive, that healthy intuitive judging drive for independence. Know when you're going into this field that you're going to be your own boss and you can make your own decisions and nobody's going to be able to tell you to do something that you don't agree with. You're going to be able to, in this field, to show responsibility, personal responsibility. You're going to be able to solve problems on your own and you're going to be able to fully trust yourself and work through something. So make sure when you go into this sector, that when you go into this sector, to know that what you do it's not about the money. It's not about the money. It's not about the status or stats or uh, about the rewards as much as it is about helping people, you know, bringing peace or harmony, solving problems, helping people through something, you know. Work within counseling, work with quality rather than quantity. Focus on understanding and use the entrepreneurial sector to gain insight into something or understanding of something through your role as an entrepreneur you might be able to find a lot of uh, experience into people you'll be able to solve conflicts you'll be able to build business relationships you'll be able to uh, help people you'll be working towards people and clients and you'll be able to show care and sensitivity and truly utilize your sensitivity in a positive way so when you go into entrepreneurship Know that you're not screwing people over, that you're not a steamroller out to get people or to hammer easy money. Know that you're there to help people and to show tact and sensitivity and care. That's my core advice to you. If you don't follow that advice, a problem is going to happen. And that is that you're going to feel that your work is frustrating or upsetting, not just to other people, but also to yourself. It's going to upset you. What you do is going to upset you. What you're going to do, the bad decisions you make, the responsibility, you're going to have to live with that and you're not going to enjoy that as an INFJ. Another core sector to look at is the dream sector, the idealistic sector. So here is think about working in social nonprofits, look at supporting new ideas, look at new sectors, new fields, you know, uh, Projects, innovation, tools, movements that weren't here earlier, last decade. Work on in these sectors, um, non-profits, grassroots movements, donations, social work, charity. Work with the supporting people and ideas and development, you know, support growth and help people grow. And work through these fields to help people um, learn and uh, gain new insight and gain new experience, work with uh, peace issues or social issues, conflicts, you know, anything that you can feel will truly help people. I feel that is something that is very crucial to an INFJ to feel truly that they live in tune with their values and that they do something that they care about and feel is meaningful. Another part to think about is uh, the creative sector. So. If a work is stressing you out, if a work is constantly throwing out new things to do, where a work is too chaotic for you, where a work is too demanding on you, when the work is too short term for you, try to find a work that gives you space to breathe, to develop, to work on an idea or a project. Think about a way to set things up and improve on things slowly. 
work on and work from your own ideas and try to maintain your real originality. Try to bring out an idea or realize an idea through what you do. You know, if there's been something you've dreamt about writing, something you, some kind of art you've dreamt about making, music that you tried to create, if it's about the story you want to tell people or something you want to do, try to work on that to what you do. Try to bring out your ideas and to work from your creativity as an INFJ. Because INFJs have an immense creativity. Introverted judging types are excellent at taking their time to patiently develop an idea. And I'm not talking creativity in the general sense of brainstorming and options and things. I'm talking about the hard work of creativity, of sitting down and writing something, planning something for years perhaps, for months, to sit down with something and develop it slowly, let it take form, shape it, don't get distracted, but to be able to dedicate yourself to something. That's very important to the introverted judging type. And that's something you can do in the creative sector where everything is about you know what you make and what you see inside and what ideas you have and what it is you want to achieve and do with your life so i said to you these were six easy sectors to look into the idealistic sector is great for nfs the nurturing se- sector that's great for feeling judging types The counseling sector, that's great for introverted feeling types. The creative sector, that's great for introverted judging types. The entrepreneurial sector, that's for intuitive judging types. And the academic sector, that's for introverted intuitive types. But there are four other sectors that you may want to consider. Not because they're easy, but because they're going to be highly rewarding. First sector to look at is the opportunities and events sector. These fields, they require a high amount of curiosity and openness to new experiences. You've got to be willing to try new things. You've got to be willing to travel, go to new places, see new things. You've got to keep an open mind. You've got to be enthusiastic. You've got to get excited about something. You have to really explore something, dig into something, do research, learn new things, you know. Keep an open mind, constantly keep an open mind and don't be too cautious, you know. Don't slow down too much, you know. Uh, try to keep things moving and try to keep things moving forward. The opportunity sector can really help you keep things moving forward. So that's a very positive thing. The other thing to look at is the relationship sector and that's work where you work for example in HR or where you work with business relationships, gifts, quality of service, you know where you sit down and really try to create an experience, where you try to consider other people's feelings, where you try to help other people, where you try to work with other people and build relationships. It's not just about being nice or to be tactful towards others, but in the relationship sector, you have to actually go out and make relationships. You have to plan meetups with people. You have to plan events. You have to have meetings together with others. You have to discuss things with others, something in INFJ can benefit from greatly. So it's going to be a little more out of your comfort zone. It will require you to be a little more open to engage others more closely than you normally might want to. So imagine working with gifts or services towards other people or to set up partnerships with other people, to build partnerships and strong groups and team building. That's all going to require extroverted feeling. And that's something that the INFJ only truly shows in a growth state of mind. The other sector to look at is uh, the change sector. So a person who is working with processes, with change, with overseeing change, you know, uh, a business has to transform. We have to try something new, you know, uh, business is looking for new ideas, you know, new markets, new groups of people to sell to, you know, society that is looking towards, uh, that has to manage different groups in society, uh, complex system that has multiple parts where different people are trying to do different things. The creative sector, the change sector, that's where you're working with and where you're working as a catalyst rather than as a entrepreneur. What you're doing here is you're trying to keep an open mind. You're trying to stay on top of options. You're trying to note this changes in your environment. Try something new and quickly be aware of how that change is creating a chain of events. 
spot changes, uh, chains of events, spot where they are going, anticipate change, notice what's going to happen next, try to stay aware of multi and hold multiple balls in the air, learn to juggle, you know, learn to keep multiple balls in the air, to keep multiple processes going at the same time. It's easy to cut all your eggs into one basket, and I think that's very INFJ. But if you're able to learn to hold multiple balls in there at the same time and not drop one of them, that's going to help you a lot as an INFJ. Now finally, the final sector an INFJ might want, want to look into, that's the artistic sector. So the problem with these sectors for an INFJ is that INFJs in these sectors have to be vulnerable. They have to open themselves up and express themselves through art. They have to speak their own truth. They have to show themselves to other people. The artistic sector is all about self-expression. You know, what's your story? Who are you? Where do you come from? So in this field, you have to be an individual. You have to be a person. You have to focus on your self-expression. Who am I? What am I for a person? What are my ethics? What are my values? What are my beliefs? What are my feelings? You have to focus on how you dress, how you act, how you behave what kind of a person you are. The artistic sector, people in the artistic sector, they're constantly asked on their integrity and ask people what kind of people they are. They're asked to be a certain person and to deal with certain expectations. And they're forced to be themselves and to show themselves and share of themselves with other people. So this is the kind of sector where what matters is not just uh, what you do but it's also who you are and uh, it's all about in this sector it's all about opening up yourself true feeling perceiving opening up yourself and being honest with people revealing yourself to other people being vulnerable to people saying this is me this is how I feel this is what I'm going through to help people notice there's other people who feel like them people they can relate to people they can feel connected to even if you're far away you know that's to be an individual is also about connecting with other individuals and that's also about showing what you're special at. It's also about showing and showing that you're a special business, showing that you're a special uh, field, showing that you're part of something special or something that people need to pay attention to. In the artistic sector, what matters is not just what you do, but also what kind of a person you are and what people connect to? Do people connect to your color, fashion sense, or your values, or your ideals, or your ethics, or your background, or your cultural cues? So this is, this should probably be called the cultural sector. So this is my base, this is the ideal careers for the INFJ personality type. This is part of uh, the work that I'm starting to present now with ideal careers and ideal sectors for every personality type. So I appreciate any help or any input on these theories and any ideas and comments. What do you think an INFJ should do with their work? What do you think they can do to be more happy at their work? What can you, do you think, what would you recommend an INFJ to become more successful at their career or at their work? That's all for today. Thanks everybody for watching this video and I hope to see you all in the next one.